All right, Phil, you only have a couple seconds, but tell me your strategy if you're Frank Kimmel. Do you try to move out of line and see if Clay Campbell will go with you? As the field came to the checkered flag at Daytona in the ARCA series opener on Sunday, Clay Campbell was running up front looking for the win. Just a few hundred yards to go. When it comes to super speedway racing, up front is where you want to be to avoid being collected in the big one. Go trouble. And we've got issues in the trioval, the three involved. Yeah, right there. We were in Clay's office when he showed me the video from last year's ARCA race at Daytona where he was nearly caught up in someone else's crash. Uh, where I ran last year and the year before, got in a couple of skirmishes and, you know, you you get in the middle of the pack, you, you can expect something like that. He finished 13th in the 2013 race, but making it through that nasty wreck with his race car still running, that was basically a victory in itself. I didn't do too bad a job, Miss Lee. No, that's good. Cool. That could have been real bad. <laughs> yeah, it could have been the end of the day. Pretty quick. So in real life, that happened in a blink of an eye. How did it feel like in the car? Uh, wrecks to me take their slow motion. With the cars traveling at 190 miles per hour, speed is relative to your surroundings. You're moving fast, but so is everyone around you. Nobody knew that was coming. And it only takes one wrong move, one bad decision to end your day and potentially the days of many other drivers. But still, Campbell says Daytona is one of his favorite places to compete. I said before, it's more of a thinking type of racing because you got to analyze each move you make before you make it. And you can't just bonsai move, you got you to gotta think about it. You know, is the outside line moving quicker than the inside or vice versa? If I move out here, will this guy go with me? So you got to think about things before you do it. And, and to me, that's fun.